Oui, je sais, c'est pas parfait. C'est aussi une question d'outils. Tu vois, tu as les outils de pro, moi j'ai les outils d'amateur. Comment c'est pas une question d'outils Bien sûr que c'est une question d'outils. Et puis je ne savais pas que tu, tu allais regarder la vidéo aussi en anglais en plus. D'accord, je touche plus. Oui, je t'attends. Ce n'est pas une raison pour t'énerver. Non, je n'ai pas touché aux plaintes. Une coupe, je fais une coupe. Oui, entendu. D'accord, d'accord, d'accord. À demain. Hey Philip. Hey. Everything okay? Everything okay. Who was that? Benoît. Oh, Benoît the carpenter? Yeah, Benoît the carpenter. What did he want? She said that he's coming here tomorrow. Oh, yeah. is he coming to help with the skirting boards? Um, no, I, I, that, that wouldn't be necessary. I think he, he, he forgot his gloves. That's why he's picking up the gloves tomorrow. Well, then you can finish the skirting boards today then. I could, but actually there's something more important. There's a hole in the corner and I need to fill it. It is sort of a safety hazard. So. My name is Anna. I'm an English former fashion and textile designer. I moved to Paris, age 23, to work for the French couture house Bauman and stayed for the croissants, the wine, and of course for Philip, a filmmaker from the South Tyrolean Alps. After 10 amazing years, getting married, buying and renovating two homes and having two babies, we decided city life was no longer for us. Philip had been dreaming of buying a chateau since the day we met and finally convinced me to start looking. We came to visit Chateau gonville sur en fleur Despite being in quite poor condition and needing a complete renovation, we immediately fell in love. In May 2019, we got the keys to the chateau, our new home. With a tight budget, we had no choice but to do most of the renovations by ourselves. We're learning new skills as we go, building muscles we never knew we had, and getting creative to make the chateau as personal as possible whilst preserving its historic features. It's all part of this crazy family adventure and we wouldn't change it for anything. Why did I make a hole in the floor of the laundry room? I, I genuinely can't remember why. It's a hole into the cellar and I, re I vaguely remember there were some pipes or cables sticking out, but why here? And then the cables stay went somewhere else. I'm just wondering, maybe there was a reason for that hole after all and I'm Filling it up and in a week I have to reopen it up, but that would be silly. Okay, I don't know how to fill it up. There's certainly a perfect process of doing it. Maybe some steel bars. I don't have steel bars. So I'm, I'm improvising and using what I have at hand. And now you might write something in the comments that I can't do that, that it's dangerous, that it will rust and we will fall through and everybody will die, but I don't have anything else here, so. So what's the plan for that? So the plan is to pour concrete into the hole, but in order for the concrete not to land in the cellar, I have to put in something. Would it pass a structural engineer test? I think it wouldn't, but it's a very specific technique and it's called amateurish improvisation. And let's see if it works. Oh, I need my gloves. Oh, that's funny. They look exactly like Benoit's gloves. I think it's going to fall through, Philip. Uh, maybe not. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> no one will ever know. Are you being sarcastic? Beautiful, Philip. I think this is masonry at its finest. One job done, that should have been done for ages. And no more draft, because it was always like pretty drafty here. And no more danger for the kids to fall down. So... Question is whether we didn't come back in like two hours and it's all disappeared because <laughs> it fell down into the cab. Well, you don't trust me at all, do you? <laughs> so now this one. And now on to the next. To the next. So. What happened in this corner, Philip? 
when we created the bathrooms and installed radiators in the upper floors, we had to put the pipes somewhere and all the pipes are hidden inside here. And so they come from the cellar underneath this room and they go up into the second floor and the third floor. So I had to make a hole here. And now you have to fill the hole. And have to fill the hole. And it's not a problem because there's, yeah, it's, gonna, it's, it's in a corner. And anyway, I don't really like this floor. So I, I like it. I know you like it. I don't like it. So I don't treat it. <laughs> You don't treat it well. With much respect. What are you going to do with the rest of that? I don't know. Build a sculpture. No, I need to find a hole somewhere. A hole to fill. <laughs> Actually, I know where there's one. Where? Come with me. <laughs> this is... This is unfair. This is a temporary cable mess because we haven't put all cables in and once all the cables are in they will be beautifully put together and it will look much better and anyway it will be hidden behind a cupboard or some double wall. Mm -hmm. Salut mon filou Salut Benoît Comment tu vas Jusqu'ici tout va bien. Tout va bien Jusqu'ici tout va bien. C'est pas ce que j'ai vu sur les vidéos moi. Sur les vidéos j'ai vu beaucoup de choses qui m'ont fait très mal au cœur. Genre le, les moulures, on oui. va aller voir le chantier. Hein euh, J'espère que tu as des cartons de Rupson. Je crois qu'il va falloir beaucoup. Allons-y. <rire> Là déjà, il y a un petit souci, non Il y a juste une qui manque, mais ça... Non, ce n'est pas l'histoire de la traverse qui manque. Comment ça se fait qu'ici, tu es sur le bois et ici, on est sur la maçonnerie On n'a pas la même distance, là. C'est pas une illusion optique Non, non. Bon, alors là je finis, c'est ouais, ouais. pas mal. T'en penses quoi Je pense. <rire> non, c'est bien, sauf que on est encore sur la maçonnerie. Mais bon, ça c'est pas grave. Là, t'as des cartons de Bruxelles Oui, ouais, bien, tu bien. feras un beau joint ici. C'est ça, exactement. Hein, partout. La craquelure. Partout. Bon, la coupe, pas top. La coupe, elle est, elle, est, elle est pas mal du tout. Ouais. Il y a une mouche qui passe ici, elle se casse la patte. Hein. Je ne sais pas ce que ça veut dire, cette expression. Ouais. Euh, les plaintes, alors là, je vois qu'il y a un désastre. Avec cette machine, je, je pensais qu'en faisant ça, ça donne des parfaites coupes au 45, <rire> mais ça ne marche pas. Bah, tu vois, si on fait ça, bah, il y a un, un petit des... écart. C'est euh, à un... peine visible, ah. mais quand même. Ouais. Donc voilà. Bon, eh ben, je crois que je vais passer ma matinée ici. Hein C'était pour ça que je t'ai offert un café. C'est super. T'as d'autres tuyaux à mettre Non, non, c'est tout. C'est tout, pourquoi <rire> Ah non, 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 regarde. Non, non, tu, tu... Ah bon Regarde, attention, attention. Regarde. Non, mais qu'est-ce que c'est que ça Mais non, c'est exprès. <rire> comme ça, c'est plus facile à la pause. Non, 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 non. On la change. Je te filme, mais si t'as besoin de mon aide, tu me dis. Hein. Ouais. Philippe, il va falloir qu'on apprenne à lire les mètres. Je vais t'apprendre. Je vais t'apprendre parce que 2,95 m, et là, nous avons 2,93 m. Oui, mais 2 cm sur une telle longueur, c'est pratiquement négligeable, n'est-ce pas Non. Et les peintures, qui c'est qui a fait les peintures euh, C'était moi, oui. oui. C'est toi C'est bien fait, non Bah ouais, tout compte fait, tu devrais faire être peintre. Mais c'est, on dirait presque du travail de Anna. C'est ça qui m'inquiète. une scie sauteuse, toi. Oui, voilà. Non, là, tu, tu la tiens à l'envers. Oui. Et t'as des outils qui marchent Et Ils marchent mieux avec une pile, <rire> Benoît. Tu sais, parce, parce qu'aujourd'hui, ils vendent des, des outils qui marchent avec une pile. C'est incroyable, mais ça fonctionne. D'accord. Ouais. Mais alors, j'ai un problème, c'est que je suis encore électrique. Je sais, je sais. Non, mais c'est normal parce qu'il y a 40 ans, ça n'existait euh... pas encore. Alors, pourquoi je travaille à l'envers Je ne sais pas. Tout simplement parce que si tu ne travailles pas à l'envers, tu as des éclats. Ok. Et sur ta façade, tu gardes que ce soit propre. Ça ouais. évite les éclats. Excellente idée. Voilà. Et c'est droit La coupe, elle est droite Et... 
Bah, c'est Benoît qui a fait, donc euh, oui, là, si tu veux. Oui, c'est bien à droite. C'est mieux vérifier, tu sais, après, ouais. tu sais, euh, vaut, ouais. vaut mieux vérifier deux fois que, que le refaire. Veux, tu veux qu'on regarde la coupe à Philippe Waouh <rire> Oui, parce que je ne savais pas qu'on pouvait la tenir à l'envers. Oui, ça. bien sûr. Oui. oui. Allez. Mais tu as fait une coupe droite. Pour l'instant. Ah Donc là, normalement, j'ai noté mes tuyaux, la hauteur des tuyaux. Oui. Il faut savoir qu'il y a une épaisseur de plante. On a la, la plante de retour oui. qui va être là. D'accord Ok. Donc je note ma, ma plante. Et je rajoute mes 16 mm de tuyaux. Oui, c'est à peu près ce que j'ai fait moi. En voilà. Fait. Oui. C'est euh, à peu près. Ça, oui. c'est Benoît. Ça, c'est Philippe. Voilà. Je ne vois pas de différence de loin. Il faut aller... Voilà. Si on se rapproche, effectivement, Donc, il y a une légère différence. Donc là, on va faire un petit poitillé. Hein oui. Philippe Oui. Tu, tu sais que Philippe, c'est avec deux P. Ben oui, ouais, si tu veux. Ouais. Pour tes coupes à 45. Ouais. Une fois que tu as appliqué celle-ci, oui. bien en place, je trace. Oui. J'applique ici, je trace. Oui. D'accord Oui. Pour celle-ci. Ici, j'ai une coupe à 45. De là à là. Oui. D'accord Donc là, je vais vous montrer quelque chose qui est formidable. Là, je m'arrête là. Tu triches en fait, c'est ce que tu fais. Non, ça s'appelle avoir euh, comment réfléchir. <rire> Pas tricher. Donc celle-là, tu la remets en place. Franchement, c'est tricher, mais c'est bien tricher. Ça t'évite à faire hein, une coupe à 45 sur toute, sur la, toute longueur. la longueur. Très bien. Oh. Pas mal. Et voilà comment on bon. fait une coupe. Puisque tu es là, Benoît, j'ai une super idée. Euh, tu peux me montrer encore sur les autres coins Oui. Tu me... ouais. Oui. Parce que je n'ai pas encore totalement compris. Oui, j'ai bien compris la chose. Je pense <rire> que je vais tout faire. Ouais. <rire> Très bien. Je suis le rock and roll de la menuiserie. <rire> Écoute, voilà. Merci beaucoup. Oui, je t'en prie. Je sais pas ce que tu fais là. Pourquoi tu fais ça Alors, je gratte de façon à ce que ça soit propre quand on pose la tablette, que ça oui. puisse prendre sur la maçonnerie et non sur les cailloux. Comment il s'appelle ton maçon Have you seen how shiny, flat and perfect this surface is <rire> Comment il s'appelle le maçon Philippe. Philippe. C est, c est le même que celui qui fait de la menuiserie <rire> Ouais, c'est ça, c'est la même entreprise. Ah ouais, ouais. Ça s'appelle comment cet outil Un équerre, c'est ça Alors non, ça s'appelle une fausse équerre ou alors sous le terme aussi de sauterelle. Comment dire <rire> Euh, Philippe, c'est ça <rire> C'est un succès immédiat, mais parce que c'était très bien préparé. Regarde comment c'est stable. Tu parles du L'appui, oui, l'appui. Tu parles de la planche de bois, qui était très bien préparée. <rire> Viens voir ce que ton homme a fait. Waouh, oh, c'est super. Voilà. Alors, bravo Philippe, regarde que elle est là. Pour faire des chutes, <rire> voilà, pour, pour mieux des... rattraper. <rire> bon, Benoît m'a montré sur une et le reste, c'est moi qui l'a fait. Ouais. 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 Je crois bien. Mmh. Merci, Benoît. Mmh.
Mais de rien, nos problèmes. C'est super. Anna, you just did a time lapse, painting a yellow wall yellow. How, how exciting do you think will be the result? <laughs> I admittedly messed up the skirting boards, but it turned out not being such an easy task. And I learned how to do it, and in the future I will do a better job. But Benoit asked me to make a straight cut in a windowsill, and that's totally something I should be capable of. And I've done many times here at the Chateau straight cuts on wooden boards <laughs> successfully. Our windowsill was originally a piece of oak floorboard and it comes with these lips. It's probably not called a lip, but they call it a lip. And we need to get rid of that and that's why I have to do the cut. Is yeah. it normal that you're using a skirting board as a base for chopping the wood? That's perfectly fine, yeah. Because <laughs> if my calculations are correct, this blade will not reach the skirting board. What do you think? I think it looks pretty good. Yeah, apart from that very starting a little fluff. I think it looks really good. And the fact that these marks means that the blade is a bit... Blunt. Blunt. Like a baby bump. <laughs> yeah, not bad. Not yeah. bad. Okay. But it's not completely finished. There's still this angle situation. I'm not sure about this, Philip. No, nor am I. Okay. Now the same on the other side. It might have not been the most difficult carpentry task, but it's well done and I'm happy with it and I'm proud of myself. I'm proud of you. Well done, Philip. Thank you. Look at these edges. Look at that precision. And also we have under the sill, under the window sill needs filling with some map. I don't think you can see it, actually. I think it can stay like that. Only little people will see it. All right. It's all those tiny little jobs, but they all add up, don't they? They do. And it seems to take forever. Yeah. All right, well, I was in the middle of um, painting, so I'll go back to my painting. Yeah, but who's going to film me gluing? Oh, you want me to film you gluing? OK. Yeah, it's super exciting gluing. It is. <laughs> Philip, you're just putting dust. All over my newly painted wall. Oops. Yeah. Hi. What have you got there? What's Papa doing? Papa is putting a window seal on. Looks like a Jackson Pollock artwork. <laughs> yeah, it does. Done. Anna, this is a window, this is not an artwork. Anna? Yeah? 
Have you been a bit optimistic when you said, I would move in tonight? It's because you're so slow. <laughs> I like watching you, but I do feel a little bit useless. Yes, make yourself useful then. It's funny because the ladder is in front of your mouth and it looks like your mouth is censored. <laughs> go on, go and do some, something useful. finish with my painting. Yes. And then what did you come and do? Well, I had to repair my plug socket. You know, I forgot that I'm going to put a circular light switch on the wall and it requires the wall behind the light switch to be perfectly even, otherwise you see it. Well, we could have done it earlier. <laughs> we could. Never mind. I'm using these black switches from a German company called THBG and they don't pay us for saying that. But we really like them. They are reproduction bakelite. Bakelite? Bakelite. Bakelite. I can sometimes get a little bit obsessed when it comes to details like light switches. So we researched a lot, like a ridiculously amount of time. And finally we found this German company. They look nice and they are obviously made to modern standards, but they could have been here for 100 years. Oh, I thought you bought them just because they were German. Like everything else that you like to buy. That's not true. I went for a British wine. Doesn't count. These plug sockets on the floor level will certainly soon be covered by a piece of furniture. So I'm not going to spend any more money than necessary on these. And in this case, generally we use a French brand called Le Grand. And again, I'm not making advertising for them because they certainly don't need it. It's a huge brand, but they work well. I use them all the time. They're easy to use and because you don't need a screwdriver, it's an enormous time saving, especially if you have a lot of electrical work to do. So, as you can see, this is just super fast. Do you think we're going to finish tonight? My goal is to finish uh, the room tonight. I don't know if we can move in, but at least to have everything set up, the room cleaned, and yeah, and then my name on the door, and that's it. Who, who, who did some cutting on top of a... I wonder. ...of a wet curtain was ridiculous. Am I doing a good job? Yeah, you're doing a good job for a beginner. I'm just helping you out. Did I do all of them now? Yeah. No, the one that you put the... Pop, the you know, it was silly because if I were smarter, I would have started with the one that's behind <laughs> and then this one, because now I have to lean over the... and it yeah. will certainly get paint all over. Well, I'm not made for painting. It's messy. Every, all potential messy tasks should be left to you. Exciting moment. We are... Uh, Fitting the skirting board that Benoit perfectly cut into shape. He also lent me a nail gun, but unfortunately it doesn't have the same adapter as our compressor, so I can't use it. So I'm going to improvise. I'm going to use the glue, which I would have used anyway, and nails. And if the nails don't work, I'm going to use screws. And hopefully I don't screw it up.
Mm. Did you just fart? No, that was my foot. Oh. <laughs> As it's probably the thing I hate most in building is putting masking tape on. Or taking masking tape off. Or taking masking tape off. It's hard to imagine anything more annoying and unpleasant to do than masking tape. Why are you using a screw? I don't know, because that's what I have in my hand. Instead of a little scrapey tool. Yeah. But maybe I switch. Yeah. Switch. Ah, you see? Yeah. I need to hammer them in. Would have been so easy with a gun, but I don't know if that, that's not going to be enough, these nails. Ah, sugar. So, have you figured out a way to attach them? Um, yes, I need to use glue and screws at the same time. So, it means that you have to do some touching up after, I'm afraid. Oh. The last two pieces and then this job is done. And then, basically... Cleaning and moving in. And light fitting. And light fitting, yeah. That's things I really like to do. I like <laughs> carpentry. So, looks good though. With a little bit of touch-ups and corking. What happened here, Philip? I got angry with the skirting board. <laughs> I had a discussion with the skirting board. You took it out on the skirting board? I did, yeah. What do you think Benoit would say when he sees he's what you've see, done? He's not going to see it because I'm going to touch it up and fill it and it's no more trace of my angry outbreak. Anna, do you think I can move in this weekend? I wanted to say yes and I think we were hopeful but as ever we are a bit unrealistic with our deadlines and all those tiny little finishing jobs take forever so I've still got to fill now all the skirting boards touch up all the paint so I'm afraid it might not be until next week Philip it is Friday afternoon I need about two days to edit this vlog and last week do you remember Anna I made a mistake of working really really late on Friday which meant that I had to work two nights to get the vlog out for Sunday and I really don't want to repeat this mistake so guys I'm afraid you have to watch another episode if you are up for the big reveal of my future editing room. So we haven't progressed as much as we wanted and I think we are in need of some comfort food. So I'm going to go and pick some wild garlic from our garden and make our favourite wild garlic pesto. Have you seen the camellia behind you, how happy she is? She's looking very happy. It's such a beautiful day, so I decided to make my pesto outside. So after washing all my leaves thoroughly, I'm now just ripping them up because if you use a knife, it can get a little bit of the bitter taste from the, from the metal. So the best thing is just to tear it up by hand. The same with normal pesto, isn't it? Yeah. I'm going to use a little bit of rock salt to help you to grind it. It's incredible because it really smells of garlic. <laughs> so this pesto doesn't need any additional garlic, does no, it? No, I don't think so. <laughs> what are the other ingredients, Anna? Uh, parmesan, pine nuts and olive oil. In Italy for a pesto you would always mix parmesan with pecorino cheese. But you can't find it in France, so we just use parmesan, which is all right. It's also really yummy if you just rip it up and put it in an omelette. I think we should try and add some of the walnuts from our trees, Anna. Oh yeah, that's a good idea. So some of our walnuts. Nice. From our own tree. Hey! Yeah. 
It's nice to cook outside, Anna. Yeah, it's true. The only thing we're missing is a nice glass of wine. Oh, I like that idea. Or a cider? Yeah, whatever you want. I mean, I think we have an alcohol problem. Yeah, I know. No, I mean, we run out of cider. We only have uh, Poiré left. Oh, that's also nice. It is. So, if you don't know, Poiré is basically made like cider, but with pears instead of apples. And it's delicious. Okay. Thank you, Philip. You're welcome. Feels like we're on a date. It does. Cheers, my love. Cheers. To the editing room and its completion next week. So now for the taste test, Philip. It does look amazing, Anna. Just the right thing for today. To make up for our disappointment. Good. Make me one, please. No, you have to film. <laughs> it works with the Poiré quite well. Why are we doing a renovation channel? Why don't we do a food and drink channel? <laughs> Silly us. <laughs> Cheers. If you enjoyed this episode, don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. For exclusive videos and behind the scenes updates, have a look at our Patreon page. Thank you so much for watching.